हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ इसोफेजियल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन इसोफेजियल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन कैन बी प्राइमरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन सेकेंडरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड टेरिशियरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन वी विल सी ईच ऑफ दम इन डिटेल सो इन प्राइमरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन आर एक्चुअली प्रोग्रेसिव कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड दीज प्राइमरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन अकर फॉलोड बाई वॉल एंटरी स्वेलोइंग सो दीज आर ट्रिगर्ड बाई वॉल एंटरी स्वेलोइंग दैट इज वंस द पेशेंट स्वेलोज दैन द प्राइमरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन विल स्टार्ट these primary contractions are present at a speed of around 2 to 4 cm per second and they reach the lower esophageal sphincter by around 9 seconds by around the time of 9 seconds the duration of 9 seconds they reach the lower esophageal sphincter then we have the next type of contractions which are called as secondary contractions right so these secondary contractions are actually these are also progressive contractions which flow forward and these secondary contractions are mainly triggered by the distension and irritation of the esophagus so this secondary contractions are mainly triggered by the distension and irritation of esophagus then we have the next type of contractions called has tertiary contractions and these are non uh, progressive contractions and these are not even peristaltic contraction they are non progressive and non peristaltic contractions whereas the primary and secondary contractions are actually peristaltic contractions whereas the second the tertiary contractions are not peristaltic contractions and they do not progress but these occur spontaneously and simultaneously they occur before swallows between swallowing or between two swallows uh, the uh, they occur spontaneously and simultaneously they occur actually these tertiary contractions are the one which are responsible for corkscrew appearance in diffuse esophageal spasm in diffuse esophageal spasm on barium swallow we see corkscrew appearance these corkscrew appearance are mainly due to the uncoordinated smooth muscle contractions which are actually the tertiary contractions thus these tertiary contractions are not seen normally they do not have any physiological function they are not seen normally they are observed or they are seen only in elderly and they can be seen in patients suffering from esophageal motility disorders so these are seen in conditions like in elderly and in esophageal motility disorders we can see these tertiary contractions thank you and thank you for watching